Hey, welcome into the last train. Yes. We use this. Use this old this brush. How about doing a barn? Burn scene. <clears throat> okay, putting on some, uh, since this is oil paint, oil painting that I'm doing, I'm going to use some stuff called liquid, liquid white. It is a base coat medium. It's, um, sometimes I add, but uh, I'm running low on liquid white. Sometimes I use rubber paint, oil paint, and then I Take some, uh, there's some, hey, Storm by Faith. Yes, welcome in. Yes. <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a, a barn scene. Old country barn, you know. <clears throat> <clears throat> Next Friday, the 20th, is another painting teaching live class that I'll be doing. And so, uh, looking forward to it. I've done, done one in a while. Plus, I want to tell you guys is that um, I've been working on a painting tour uh, schedule sheet. And on that sheet, at my church, we're having a fall fest. And so, I was told, I was told that I can be doing a painting demonstration at the church. Yay! <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm going to be, I'm going to be doing a painting teaching uh, at my church in the fall I don't know what happened there. Wow. But anyway, I'm looking forward to that. Let me wash this brush. Wash this brush out with the oldest thinner. I don't use Tuckerham because the smell is so bad. But I can use oldest paint. Hey, Trixie Blue, welcome in, welcome in. Oh, cool, Storm, Storm by Faith, all right, cool, I like that. Yes, if I see pink coming in, I'll drop the link and see if pink might come up. <laughs> but, <clears throat> next, yeah, next, yeah, next, um, library. <laughs> Yes, uh, next Friday night, 8 p.m. Central Time is when I'll be teaching my class. <clears throat> so it's going to be a lot of fun. Let me brush that out. <clears throat> that, that paint not even supposed to be on there. <laughs> oh, well, that just happens sometimes. <clears throat> it happens when you're a professional artist. Anyway, yeah, my uh, church is going to have what you call fall fest. And so I've been, uh, you know, since my brother, my, my brother is the pastor 
at this church that I go to. And so, and my brother told me I can, I can do a painting demonstration there at my church. And then, uh, hopefully, then I can do. Uh, there is a possibility that I might be in a parade. And if I'm in this parade, then guess what? I'm going to paint in the parade. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I might be painting in the parade. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, I'm going to be painting in the parade. Now, that probably would be um, if I paint in the parade. Uh, I've been talking to some people at my church and see if they can have me on the back of a pickup truck. I'm going to pack a, a back of a pickup truck and see if they'll let me paint. And uh, if I'm them paint in the parade, well, that would be awesome. I don't know me, I'm a professional. Well, yes, I'm a professional artist. You know me. That paint is hard to get out of this too. <laughs> yeah, let's see here. Yeah, so I'm thinking about doing that. So, and that would be probably, I don't know exactly when, it probably be uh, in December. If I do that, that ooh, would, be, would that be awesome? Me to paint in the fray. Uh oh, uh, hey, show stitch. How you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. Yes, nice to see you in here. Storms. Oh, thank you. Nice, nice. Ah, yes, thank you. Yeah. If some of y'all don't have me, um, just go to my channel and uh, go to my channel and hit the subscribe and subscribe to my channel. It would really, really mean a lot to me if you, if you guys would uh, uh, subscribe to my subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. <laughs> green sky. We don't want a green sky. Maybe a blue sky, but not a green one. <laughs> okay. Now, let's see here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put some blue up in there. Now that that look at white that I put on on here, all that does is that once you put the look at white on here, hmm. it's a full base, but it also just kind of blends the coloring. So this is a, a, a blue sky I'm putting on here, and it will blend the colors. That's all it does. This is on. Uh, I only use this because I might paint in oils. So. so it'd be a nice big blue sky, light blue sky. <clears throat> I spent many, many years uh, doing this kind of stuff. Just doing, um, you know, painting. I have uh, years and years and years and years of nothing so experience in painting. Numerous of years of it. 
and uh, it's a lot of fun, but you won't paint overnight. It uh, takes a while to really, you know, paint like this. It takes a while, you know. I didn't learn how to paint like this, you know, overnight. I took classes, many, many classes I took, so I can uh, get to where I am today. You can see that painting right there. I did not learn how to do that painting overnight. I did that painting in, in class. So it takes, takes a while. But it, it is a lot of fun. Once you, once you learn how to do this, it is very, very fun to do. You'll really enjoy it. Uh, I enjoy doing this. Yeah, I'm just, I enjoy doing this because it's so much fun to do. So much fun. Okay. Yeah, yeah I've been doing pretty good. I've been doing pretty good. Okay, there we go. Now look at it. Now look at it. Yes. There's a little bit more blue back there. in the sky now. <laughs> paint the sky. It's okay, but I'm painting the sky with a silver brush. It's okay. And then just put this in. And get it like smooth like glass. If you want it to be real smooth, well, what you do is that you would uh, let's keep painting over it. This is horizontal strokes. See how I'm bending the brush? It's horizontal. Virgo means you go straight up and down, but horizontal uh, Horizontal means you go straight across with it. So right now, what I'm doing is blending this entire sky. You can use a one inch or two inch. But I decided to use a silver brush. <laughs> hey, it works. <laughs> it works. Watch my brushes out with nothing. and said, oh, it's thinner. I like to use Otis Center, not Turpentine, because Turpentine, it can really, really stink. <laughs> Man, that stuff really stinks. So I don't use Turpentine at all. I use Otis Pink Center. I'm going to turn my chair around. There we go. Now I can get to the canvas. <laughs> yeah. Now I can get to the canvas. Okay. Now this brush I'm fishing to use is called a uh, fan brush. Fan brush is a good good brush to use, especially if you're going to make evergreen trees and smaller trees. It's a real good brush to use. And this is 11 by 14 canvas. Anyone y'all are interested in what this 
This is a 11 by 14 canvas. So it's not like an 18, you know, 18. They, they make canvases seem bigger than this. They make 18 by 24s. And uh, y'all remember Bob Ross? Well, that's the kind of canvas he used to paint on. He used to paint on 11 by uh, 18 by 24s. But I don't <laughs> paint on those sides. I don't think no way men paint on that size canvas before. The 18 by 24 is, is pretty large. It's big. I'm not sure this would fit the uh I'm not sure this would fit this 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 canvas. This easel. Okay. Let's see. Let's do some distant trees. I'm gonna hold my brush like this. And then we'll just make some smaller trees. And these trees will be in the background. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, there we go. Look at these trees. Yeah, see them the trees. Okay. So I'm using this fan brush and it the paints I'm using are Fado Green and Midnight Black. Fado Green and Midnight Black. Okay. I'm gonna make some bushes in a minute. Maybe I'll make some bushes out. I might just do mostly trees. These kind of trees are real easy to do too. If you have a fan brush like what I'm using, it'll work. It'll, it'll work for you. Mm -hmm. uh, in a minute, I'll try to do some flexions, but I'm not looking for any water. But this kind of looks like water right here. I can do it like water, but I'm kind of thinking about maybe just doing trees and grass, maybe. I'll do some bushes eventually <laughs> in this painting and this pens. If you want some trees over here, put some trees on this side. And these are in the background. In painting, let me tell y'all about this, okay? In painting, you have what you call background. You do everything first in the background, then you work towards the front. If you notice that, you notice that that, that painting right up there in the important. See those bushes right there? Those bushes are in the background. So you do everything first into the background, and then that is known as the as the middle ground. And then you have the foreground. That means these bushes are in the front. Those bushes that you see right there are in the back. So that's known as the background. So you do everything other into the background, then you work more towards the front. <clears throat> okay, if that makes sense. But I think it does. Okay, now we got some trees. Look at those trees. Yeah, these trees don't have to be very tall, you can just short trees. But that's what this is. Y'all heard the story about me. Well, some of y'all are new to my channel, but uh, years ago, I was trying to help my mom paint one day. And my mom had just came home from the hospital. And so I decided to help my mom. So I decided to uh, help my mom and uh, teach her how to paint. And so uh, I had two canvases set up and two easels and I was, I paint, I was teaching her. And uh, everything was going real good there for a while. So, you know, her, 
her mountain came her mountain looked real good. You know. When it came time to do the trees and bushes, she couldn't do it. Yeah. I wanted us to do some reflections. You want to go up with it and our light that cross. Oh, it could be water right there. I don't know. It looks more like water, don't it? That's how you get those reflections. See? Got reflections going on right now. Look at that. You got those reflections right now? There's a can down here where I am. Uh, where I'm sitting at, there's a can with a uh, trash can with a coffee can in it that uh, has a screen and has Ovis Center in it. And that's why I'm playing my brushes. But yeah, anyway, so I was teaching my mom that day. And, uh, you know, everything was going real good until she, you know, she just stopped and she told me, she said, I can't do the trees and bushes. And I told my mom, I said, but mom, I said, the painting is real beautiful. You know, it's real pretty. And then my mom told me something I'll never forget. I'm putting this in here. My mom told me, she said, I don't have the ability and the know-how that you have. And then, uh, you know, and then she told me, she said, but I like to watch you do it. I'm going to tell you all about something. When my mom told me she likes to watch me paint, oh, wow. That really made me feel good. You know, when my mom told me that she likes to watch me paint, I really felt good. All day that day, I felt real good because my mom liked to watch me paint. And sometimes, you know, and two, I paint in her memory. A lot of times if I'm doing a video, a painting video, that's why I say to read in the description below because I like to put that in there. It's my mom, I paint in the memory of my mom. That's what I did. But let me tell you about something too. Okay, so y'all see me putting this grass in here. So I'm using a fan brush to do this grass with. That's a fan. You know, I'm sitting here <laughs> painting this. Oh, yeah, we're going to put some grass in here like this. You know, when I'm painting like this and I'm looking at the trees, You know, it makes me think, you know, that the father made the trees and made the, the sky. And then the uh, book of Genesis, you go to Genesis, Genesis, I think, one. Well, it talked about when he created the heavens uh, and he created you know, the, the, the other thing. The trees in the bushes, right? The trees, so you see I have the trees right here. Then I have the sky. But, you know, the father made the trees and he made the, the bushes and stuff, you know? You know, when he, get, when he gave me the talent to do this, okay, so he... He gave me the talent to be able to paint and, you know, like trees, bushes. And, well, I give him all the glory for it. But he's the one that gave me the talent. He gives me the talent to do this kind of stuff. Everybody has talent. Everybody has talent. You have to know what your talent is. It might not be painting. Your talent may be, say, crochet. 
Some people can crochet. Some people can't. Some people can cook. Some people can't. Some people can paint. <laughs> and some people can't. Well, see, I'm one of those people that can paint. And I've been, you know, doing it for many, many years. But if you think about it, you know, think about the, the trees and the bushes. Think about the sky. Because he made the sky. You know, he made, he made the trees. You know, he made birds. He made all of that. He made the trees, made the bushes, made the water. And on the seventh day, he, he rested. You know, he, he made all of that. You know, he, he made the trees, he made the bushes, he made the grass that I'm putting in right now. So, yeah, he, he made all of that. He made everything. Plus, he knows everything about you. He knows everything about me. He knows how many hairs that is on your head. He knows everything about that. I did a video uh, earlier today where I was reading in the book of Psalms, Psalms 150, verse 6. It says, everything that has breath, breath Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. When I got through reading that, look, oh, wow, look here. I can, I can put a pathway in there. You want to see that? Yeah. So you, you see here, now we've got the grass right in here. But if y'all haven't seen that video, uh, view it. Uh, it's on my channel. Yeah, he he uh, he knows every he knows all the hairs, the number of hairs on your head. He knows all of that. Okay, now we got. Ooh, yeah, hey, I like this. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, it's something that's meant. I want to do the barn in a minute. Yeah, we're going to put a barn in here. I would just leave it like that. You know what I mean? That look, oh, you know what? That could be like a pond. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I could put a, 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 a pond right there. A pond is nothing more than just like water. But I can put I can put a, a, a pond right there. You have to use your, when you paint. You have to use your mind. You, you have to use your mind. You have to think what what season. For me, this more look like summer or springtime. You have to use you have to use your mind. You have to think of what season. What season would I like to do this in? Hmm. You know what. It would look nice is to do a pond. Is this right in here? You see this? Oh wow, yes, I'm gonna do a pond and do a pond in a minute. Okay. Let's see here. Let's see what kind of brush I'm gonna use. Let's see. Um mm -hmm. I'm thinking about what kind of brush to use. Let me wash this brush out with some Otis thinner. Wash all my brushes out with Otis pink thinner. And I use paper towels all the time. Oh, that's not clean enough. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. 
if you're not, uh, if you don't have me or something, just go to my channel and press the uh, uh, subscribe to my channel, and I would uh, really, uh, you know, it would mean a lot to me if you guys would subscribe to my channel. And uh, so, it would mean a lot. To me. And uh, also, too, support my channel for me. I really need uh, you guys to support, too. Okay, there we go. Hey. <laughs> I got fatal blue oil in my brush. Fatal green, I mean. I'm fatal blue. Green, not blue. Hey, this is pretty. Wow. Okay. In the minute, I'm just going to put a barn right in there. But I think first, before I do that, let's see if we got some trees in there. Oh, I know a tree I'm going to put in there. Let's do an evergreen tree. Now, evergreen trees are real fun to do. Let me just hold up a little bit of fade of green and a little bit of midnight black. Green and black. Okay. I'm going to use one corner of the fan brush. Okay. Ooh, there you go. Now turn your, turn your brush sideways and use one corner of the fan brush. Use a small portion of the brush. Go from side to side. Like this, and we get to the bottom, really push it. Yeah, there you go. See there? Look at there. Look at there. See? Look at that. And put some shapes into your trees. Look at that tree. Look at that tree. Yes, the, the, look at that. See? That's what I'm talking about. You guys can do this. It'll take you a while, but you can do it. Look at, look at that tree. Look at that tree. Obviously, can I do that? Or you can. If I can do it, you can do it. Yeah. I think, oh, I'll give that tree a friend. How about that? We'll just give that tree a friend. Trees need friends, too. Let's, let's put this tree right there. Come on. And then go from side to side. There we go. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> yes, I like this. There you go. See, don't be afraid to put your shapes into your trees. Don't be afraid. You see trees, you see trees that has a lot of shapes to it. Steady trees. You know, if you stay a tree, then you can do it. Steady trees. See how trees are. See how trees have those have that shape to them. You know? like I said, go out and study a tree. See how that how it's shaped. All right. Now, now we're getting some right. Look at that. Look at that painting. Wow, we. Okay. All right. Wow, I like this. <laughs> Woo! I like this. Yes, look at that. Yes. I'm gonna put some color on the well okay, what? Let's do some bushes. And we'll get some sack green. I mean um faded green. A little bit of midnight black. I'm gonna put a bush. No no let me use my and brush. It makes some good bushes, by the way. There you go. I'm going to get a little bit more midnight black on the brush. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. And then we'll put a bush.
loose right here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that bush. Look at that bush. Yeah. Then we're gonna put some color into that bush. And we'll put some color on this. Yeah, we're not gonna leave it just like this, guys. Now. <laughs> No, we're not going to leave it like this. Uh, I like to, but hey, that this painting needs some color to it. Yes, you can't leave it just like this. And then you put some color to it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. All right. Now. Okay. Ooh, that looks good. Also, share out the live stream. Again. Okay. Well, let's see here. Let's get some butter. I need to do a barn first. Let me do. Let me do that barn first. Let's have a big cabinetry today. This is the flat knife. Do we want to? Oh, we do want to one that has a pretty long loop to it. Oh, there you go, see? And bring this down here like this. I'm going to scrape it out with a palette knife. This is where there's years of practice, or years uh, and years. You know, this is where all the experience comes in. It comes right here. Yeah. But this is where the, the, the having that years and years and years of experience, this is where pays off right here. Look at that. Wow. That is amazing. Okay, now let's take some pink white. And I'm gonna take some midnight black. Let's see if I can make a grayish white color. Okay. Let's see if I can make a gray type color. I need mean, a little bit more tight in white. Okay. Okay. Now, let's see here. Okay. Uh, I think I want this paint part of the other too once it gets. <laughs> There we go. There we go. Okay. Hey, there we are. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. Now, if you pilot knife, you never use a pilot knife before. Um, you know, you can get a uh, pilot knife and just practice with it. But one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to put your finger upon the blade when you use a pilot knife. You want to hold your knife right here. Put your, th put your first finger up there, put your thumb there, and put these finger fingers on the handle. And that way, it will break for you. That's what you call breaking. Look at that. Look, look at that painting. 
Wow. Okay, so we can go back, reload the reload the pilot knife. That see, look at that. There you go. See, see that breaking? All right, hey, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for it to break like that. So don't put your finger up on the blade, or it won't break. You have to, you know, allow it to break. That's what we call breaking. Okay, look at there. Oh, yeah, okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, now let's get some brown into it. A dark skin. Uh, brown. We're gonna hit those thumbs up and come on back. <laughs> hit them thumbs and come on back. Okay. I hear some Ben Day Brown. Man, Ben Day Brown will work good. Now let's show some raw umber. If y'all like my teaching, let me know in the chat or in the comments. If y'all like my teaching and this painting, that's what I'm doing. Look at, look at this. Wow, we. There we go. Look at there. Now we'll do the same right there. Good night. There we go. Look at there. That can get kind of tri tricky just a little bit if you turn your hand like this and then you can start. Look at there. Look at that. Yes, look at that. Oh wow, look at that guys. Woo! Yes, look at there. Look at that barn. Yes, it's not a cabin, it is a barn. And like a grandma's barn or something. I don't know. You make up stories too as you go along. Make up some stories. It's like grandpa's barn or something. I don't know. But look at Oh, wow, look at that barn. And I'm doing that all with a pilot knife, too. I'm not using a brush, just using a pilot knife. Look at that. Are you? Wow. He said, I can't do that. I can't draw a, I can't draw a straight line. You know, I have people tell me all the time they can't draw in a straight line. <laughs> you probably could draw a straight line if you had a ruler. <laughs> Yep, if you had a ruler, you probably can draw a straight line. <laughs> you guys ever heard that before? <laughs> I had somebody tell me that. I gave some my opinion at my church. I think that's the other day. It might have been last Sunday. I gave somebody a painting at my church. And they said that they can't draw a straight line. <laughs> By the way, I'm selling paintings. So if you want a painting, let me you know. My paintings sell for a dollar. 
if you want a painting, just just let me know. And uh, but painting a painting like this takes a long time to dry because it's oil paints. But I love to I love to do oil paints. Oil painting is a lot of fun to do. But yes, and and when you let me know where I can send the painting to and. Let me know who, who you are and everything if you want one. I have a fan club. My fan club is free. Fan club is free. But like Pink Motivation and, and Shirley, I gave all of them a, a, a painting when I was on a meet and greet a while back. I think it was back in April. I don't know. Maybe it was May. I think it was May. Anyway, I was on the meet and greet and you all remember painting. But yeah, if you want a painting, let me know. Let me know. Look at that. Look at that painting. Wow. And we're going to do a door. Yay. Guys have to speak now. Some more paper towels. Oh, there we go. Okay, I want to see if I can fix that door in the barn. Okay, now get that there. And then we'll come back and fix that barn. Let's put some color on this. Wow, mom having fun. I'm having a lot of fun, guys. Woo! Yes. I'm having a lot of fun. See here. Look at that. Look at that. Look, look at that. I don't know if you guys seen this uh, shirt I, I have on, but uh, I still have some shirts left. Maybe when I get to 700 subscribers, then I'll do a 700 uh, giveaway. Then I'll give away my, one of my shirts. I get pink to help with that. <laughs> and look at that. There you go. Look at that. See? Ooh, ooh, look at that, look at that bush. <laughs> Y'all saw it? Yeah. Yes, that's the reason why I like to paint. I have a lot of fun doing this. You want a painting? Okay. Um, let me know. Probably the best thing is let me know in the comments 
where I can send one to you, and I'd be glad to send one to you because I have these done by 14s and uh, that's the ones I'll have to, you know. But yeah, let, let me know where I can send it to and everything like that, and I'd be more than happy to send you a painting. Go in the fan club. That's why Pink and uh, I think Shirley and them did. They had a painting from me and they formed the fan club as well. Yeah. Fan club is free. It's free. Man, <laughs> I think that's one of the best I've ever done. <laughs> hey, Pink. Pink, I, if you want me to, I can drop my link and uh, see if you'd like to come up. Want to come up, Pink, for a little bit? Let me know in the chat. I'll drop my link and you can come up. Okay. Look at that painting. Wow. See, this is what this is what I'm talking about. See, not years and years and years of experience. And look at this painting. You see, when when you're painting, you want to take your time with it. You don't want to rush through it because if you rush through it, then um, it won't look good, you know what I mean? So don't rush through a painting. You want you want to take your time with it, and uh, you know just just take your time. I'm gonna add some more to this. Oh, okay, that's okay. Paint. Paint says she's eating her dinner. Mm -hmm. We're going to put some blue back there. Blue is water. Going to leave this a little bit right back in the back back there. You see? Ooh, or green blue. Let's see. This is a pretty color. The color you really have to watch is fresh and blue because fresh and blue is a very strong color. And you, you want to be careful with fresh and blue. Fatal blue is super. pretty. Ooh, that's pretty. See? This is orchardine blue. And look at that orchardine blue. I think I'm going to just put some water in there. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, hoo -hoo, yes. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Look at there. Look at there. That, look at there. I think Bob Ross would be proud of me. I think Bob Ross would be very, 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 very uh, happy and proud of me. Look at this painting. Wow. Hey, guys, look at this painting. Yes. You know, earlier when I was talking about, you know, when the father made the grass and made the trees, he also made water, too. He also made the water. He made everything. He made everything. Water, trees, bushes, birds. I saw the cutest thing. I was walking back from my uh, from, from eating supper with my brother. And uh, I saw the cutest thing. I saw some baby birds. They built a nest. And if I had my camera, I would have filmed it for you, for you guys. It is the sweetest thing to see them. They, uh, I think there's about maybe one or two baby birds in the nest. 
and uh, we're walking back uh, tonight from, from eating supper at my brother's place, and I saw the baby birds again. <laughs> and uh, the mama, oh, let me tell you, the mama bird, she getting a little bit fussy, but you know that's how that's how it is with nature, you know. But they're cute. They're real, real cute birds. And speaking of birds, let me tell you about something. I was on a walk. I started about, you know, walking just to get an exercise one day. And so I was coming back from a walk. And <laughs> I had to look up. And uh, I haven't uploaded it tonight. I haven't uploaded this video yet. But what I'm going to tell you guys is that I saw some geese flying over. And let me tell you all about something. These geese were flying in formation. And uh, they always make a sound because that they have a leader. It's their leader, you know, up in front of them. Let's up with Otis there. But anyway, the the, the bird uh, the birds have uh, the geese. They have a, a leader with them, and uh, so the leader. Uh, I was really amazed about those birds, you know, and uh, and it was at sunset, and uh, they were just flying, you know, they. Flying in a beach, uh, beach type formation. And uh, I've never seen birds fly that low either. They're flying in V formation. And uh, anyway, I always think that means it's going to be cooler. I don't know. I don't know what that means when you see these flying over. But anyway, they, they was real pretty. And uh, I mean, you know what, man. <laughs> but let me tell you about this other bird. I saw a bird one time, and it was a dove, a, a dove. And it was a white dove, but its belly, he, he saw uh, a bird bath that was somewhere else. Uh, I think I was visiting somebody. And so I saw this dove. And I didn't have my camera with me. I usually use my tablet, you know, for filming stuff. I didn't have it with me. Uh, well, I did, but I think I was leaving it charged up or something that day. But this dove landed up on a bird bird bath, hopped up on the bird bath, and then I saw the dove, and I saw the belly of this bird. Now, what I'm just gonna tell you is the, the belly on this bird is all different colors. All different colors. Blue, green, red. I've never seen a bird look like that before. Never. I've never seen a bird look, look like that. And uh, it was very, very beautiful. And he was looking at me. No, he, he was looking at me. But he was beautiful. I never seen a bird that beautiful before. And something about this bird, I was watching him as he flew down. And when he flew, he came down from an angle. He didn't come down like any other bird. This bird flew from an angle. Put this grass on my team guys. This. So this bird flew from a, an angle. And uh, he was, uh, it was very, very beautiful. I, I've never seen a bird that that beautiful before. So uh, one day I went and asked, I tried to Google it. I had tried to Google it and, you know, but I couldn't find no bird that looked like that. I mean, that's, this bird was very, very beautiful. And, and uh, so I don't know. 
um, you know, I, I don't know what kind of bird it might have been. But I, I mean, he was a dove, you know, but I've never seen one that, that beautiful. I'm a good I'm a good I've been painting for one hour. Yay. <laughs> yes. One whole hour. And we're gonna put some dirt road in there. Okay. Next week, <clears throat> next Friday night. 8 p.m. Central Time, uh, August the 20th. I'll be doing the painting teaching live class. It'll probably be me and Shirley and Pete Motivation. And um, anybody else would like to join us. If you want to join us in, in painting, you will need to get yourself some uh, some acrylic paints. Get yourself some, look at that painting, wow. It's to sell some acrylic paints. It's to sell some brushes and paint on with us. We'll be glad to have you. And come up on the, you know, come up on the panel. And we'll have a panel that night. Come up on the panel. Just, just don't sing. <laughs> I can't handle my singing anymore on my, my strings. But uh, look at that painting. Wow, guys. Wow, look at this. Wow, that's so pretty. Wow, I love that. Wow, look how beautiful this is. Yes, I love this. Do I like, do I like this painting? Let me know in the comments if you guys love like this. I mean, oh wow, I love this painting. Wow, we look how beautiful this is. Yes, look at that. Making that look like old. Look how beautiful that is. Wow. <laughs> wow, we. Yes, yes, uh, yes, just email me and um, not, not in the chat, but yeah, you can email me. Yeah, email me your, your, uh, I get, I get emails. Yeah, you can email me. And I have somebody else that uh, help, helps me too. Uh, my, uh, I have my president of my fan club help, helps me. If you like to join that too, you can. <clears throat> that, like I said, that fan club is free and everything. If you want to join the fan club, you can. I'm gonna take a picture of this one and send this to Google. Whoa. I'm also on Google reviews and I uh, have, um, I think I showed some paintings on there or something. I don't know. But anyway, I think I was on Google reviews. Now, next week, 
yeah, next week I'll be entering a painting at a art contest or fair. And so when I do, when I win, because last year I won a painting, I won first place. Yes. When I win, then I'll I'll go out to the fair and, and everything like that and then uh, I will be able to film. <clears throat> Plus, too, I'm going to go out there and just film some stuff, you know, film some. Um, yeah, I'm going to be going out there and filming some stuff anyway, so. Oh, that's okay. It's all right. Oh, that's okay. It's all right. You you can watch. <laughs> yeah, you can you can watch us. I hope I'm. Uh, you know, somebody had told me a while back I was doing a live stream, and somebody told me I I am a real good teacher. When it comes to painting, I'm a real good teacher. That made me feel good, too. Look at that. Also, and... Wow. <laughs> Man, that is so pretty. I think maybe. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. Maybe like that. I, I was thinking about maybe a tree. I don't Let me know in the chat, y'all. Y'all let me keep teaching this because you know I do love to teach because I love I love people watch me paint. You know, like I said at the top of this video, that my mom loved watch me paint. And my mom has gone home to be with the Lord now, but you know, my mom always loved to watch me paint. Put a good feeling in, inside of me too. My mama told me that she loved to watch me paint. I tell y'all that that really that really made my day. When my mom told me she loved to watch me paint. Yeah, you don't know how much that meant for me. But she told me that she loved to watch me paint. And I paint the memory I paint in the memory of her. That's what I do. I get real tear eyed because, you know, I miss my mom very much. Very, very much. Me and my mom was very close. You know. Back on Mother's Day, I did a video. And I was talking about mothers. And I had them talk about mine. And, you know, my mom was very, very, well, me and my mom was, like I said, was very close. And she used to help me and I helped her. And uh, when my mom used to help, help me with the, uh, Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. So, just just email me and uh um well I'll tell you what. I'll put uh, I won't do it in, in this chat and in, in the live chat. But uh, 
Um, to what? You can probably if you go to if you go to my channel and um, go go to my channel and watch a video or something and put your uh, email in there because I can I can put uh, my email in into the uh, comments. And just go to my channel and uh, watch a video or something. But anyway, uh, yeah, my mom, uh, so my mom would help me with uh, homework and all that, and then I would help my mom with her. And when I helped her, I helped my mom with her feet because my mom had rheumatism arthritis, and I would have to help my mom with her feet and everything. And, uh, you know, when I helped my mom with her feet, um, I was telling somebody at my church about this. When I helped my mom with her feet, it reminded me of when Jesus washed the feet of the disciples. And when he washed the feet of the disciples, well, it kind of reminded me of that. But I did not wash my mama's feet. I put some lotion on there for her. And my mom would like that very, very much back in those days, you know. And I probably wasn't beautiful. But yeah, I was, uh, you know, I'll tell that to somebody at the church. And they told me that I was being a sermon. For my mom, but that you know that that really touched me that day, and I watched when I did that for my mom. And uh, oh, thank you, thank you very much. So, yeah, um, and now you know nowadays I, I miss that because I I miss that doing that for my mom so much. But yeah, my mom really appreciated that, you know. But yeah, it reminded me that when Jesus washed the feet of the disciples, that's what it reminded me of. But anyway, I don't want to get curated. <laughs> Sometimes I'll get curated because I'll start thinking about her. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay to, it's okay to cry a little bit. No, it's not going to cry. Look at that painting. Wow. Look at that painting. Okay. I'm gonna do guys. I'm gonna go and sign this. So this one be mine. So this one be mine. Let's show that one to my uh what do you want I think today? I'm gonna take the picture of this one and send this to the uh, Google. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. Google reviews. Yes, that's the name of it.
Yeah. Oh, we. Yeah, it's good. Now, when I stand back and take a look at it, <laughs> oh, man. When I stand back and take a look at this, this is when it's going to be uh, beautiful. When I stand back and take a look at it, Yes. When I stand back and take a look at this. Whoa, what's this thing? Another thing in painting is that you want to uh, you want to uh, uh, oh yeah, you want to when you put highlight onto the bushes, you want to not, I use the word destroy, or, well, not that. Big. You don't want to leave it bunched up. So I try to leave some opening spaces in it because if you look at the, the bushes, you will see the opening space. You don't see it all what I call clumped up together. If it was all clumped up together, it wouldn't look like a bush. <laughs> it wouldn't look like a bush. I was going to put a... Well, I, I was going to put a tree in there, but I can't put it without a tree. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> that is good. Okay. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yes. Thank you are welcome. And I'm going to get there and go down my bed. And I'm going to talk to you guys for a minute. Okay. so beautiful. Yes. <clears throat> oh, okay. Thank you. Yes. Yes, thank you very much. I'll talk to, uh, I have a, my president of my fan club, so <laughs> I have to let, I might have to Get her to, to look at the dress and everything for me because she helps me. She helps. Me. Yeah, it's nice to have y'all in in the in the chat. Some of y'all are new too. Some of y'all are new to my uh my channel. So. And then that that makes me feel good too. You're welcome. Yes, thank you. But some of y'all knew in, in my in my on my channel. So, yeah. But that that really makes me feel good too because uh, I get to talk to you guys. <laughs> I haven't done a live in a long time. That's nice. Oh, thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Yes. No, I did a, <clears throat> you know, I tell y'all that, um, I think I tell y'all, oh, you know what, I'm going to show y'all something. <laughs> yeah. I 
So I like to, uh, <clears throat> let's see. But anyway, <clears throat> I want to show y'all something I got in the mail. And uh, <laughs> so I got this in the mail. Look at this. I know who this is. This is Bob Ross. <clears throat> and the happy, happy, ooh, <laughs> happy little tree. You see that? I got him in, I got him in the mail. Look at that. And they got his palette. So I'm a big Bob Ross fan. I love Bob Ross. And sometimes Bob Ross still comes on. Yes. <laughs> You knew, but yes, it's Bob Ross. Yes, I'm a big fan of Bob Ross. Uh, I used to wake up uh, when I was smaller. I used to wake up, and I used to watch Bob Ross every Saturday. I had to watch him come on every Saturday. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I used to love to watch him, you know, and I still do. I still do. He comes on on a TV uh TV station. It starts, it starts with a P. I don't know what, what you call it. But I like to watch his old his old TV shows. And um uh, <clears throat> and now I got my <laughs> now I got my brother watching Bob Ross. And uh so you know it's so amazing. <clears throat> so uh <clears throat> you know uh, I like Bob Ross and You know, if he was, <clears throat> if Bob Ross was living today, if he saw that painting I did a few minutes ago, he would be really, <laughs> he would be really, really proud of me, you know. He would be so, so proud of me, you know. It's not that, <clears throat> uh, like I said, you know, you just have to, if you're going to, to learn how to paint, it does require some 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 practice. And so I've been painting for numerous of years. And uh, <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> yes, it would be. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> so I've been <clears throat> painting or about, I don't know, um, I forget how long. You did a great job. Oh, thank you. Yes. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. It's, <clears throat> even my mom would be proud of me, too. <laughs> See, my mama, my mom would be, <clears throat> my mom would be very, very proud of me. Of course, my my sister-in-law and my brother, they all, both of them, are very, very proud of me. <clears throat> and uh, an, uh, another thing is, <clears throat> another thing is that <clears throat> I was on a, <clears throat> I got interviewed one time, and I was on a <clears throat> local. TV talk show. It was many, many years ago. <clears throat> and uh, <clears throat> the TV station that I, I was interviewed doesn't exist no more. But um, I went to this TV station and uh, my mom used to take me, of course. <laughs> and then uh, <clears throat> when I went, <clears throat> Excuse me. When when I went there, um, I was being interviewed <clears throat> by the producer of this TV station. And it was a like I said, it was a local, <clears throat> a local TV talk show. It was local. And so uh, <clears throat> I took some paintings with me. Two of them. Two paintings. 
And so we just start, you know, we start, start to talking about um, painting and, and, you know, and then uh, I started start talking about the fan club and, and then he started joining the fan club. And then, uh, <clears throat> so after, <clears throat> after when the show was over, well, he, he had one of my paintings. He, he had a painting of mine and then uh, <clears throat> it was just a, uh, was sitting there on the set one day in the studio. Now I never could paint in there, okay, because the way they had the cameras set up, um, I couldn't stand up and, and you know and paint uh, because it's just the way the the cameras were set up at, at the time. Um, <clears throat> I would have to wear a microphone that would attach to my clothes. And then I would just sit there and, uh, you know, they would ask me questions and, uh, you know, how, how long I've been doing this, you know, <laughs> that that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and uh, it was uh, quite, it was quite an experience, I can tell you that. <laughs> it's quite it was quite an experience to be on TV and to be uh, enjoying it, you know. And I've been on TV before. But uh, <clears throat> that time, you know, it was such a, a amazing. And then I was on radio, a radio talk show with my manager. And uh, that that was a lot of fun. <clears throat> and then uh <clears throat> you know I uh, had my manager you know with me at the time and and uh, <clears throat> he was interviewing me okay anybody else Go ahead and end this live, man. Okay. Somebody else not going to come in. I can end my live. <clears throat> they go on ahead. Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> okay. But anyway, yeah. <clears throat> so what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I was, <clears throat> my manager was interviewing me one, one time. No, it wasn't my manager. It was, uh, yes, <laughs> there was a lot of hard work, too. A lot of hard work. <clears throat> and then um, <clears throat> it was the radio uh, person that was interviewing. But it might have been my, my manager was interviewing me. I forget. Because <laughs> It was a while back. <laughs> it was a while back. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it was <clears throat> it was a lot of fun. <clears throat> was, uh, I I used to be in performing, and I used to perform at uh, water parks, and, you know that kind of stuff. And uh, I used to you know introduce people, bands and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I was out at a water park one time, and uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So I was out at this water park, and I was uh, inducing bands, and, and you know, and then I was up. Oh, that's okay. I'm I, I love talking to you. Yes. Yes. Hey, that that's okay. You know, just you and me, it, it's okay. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> oh yeah. <clears throat> so I was out at the sport park with my manager, and uh, <clears throat> it was the time when my mom was still living, and so I had I was out there 
five hours straight, almost five hours at this water park, performing, you know, in these bands. And then I was up on the stage. They had a small stage, like a wooden stage. And I was on the stage. And, um, <laughs> oh, man, I heard some thunder. And uh, <clears throat> I heard some thunder off in the distance. And I happened to look over, and, you know, I'm, I was up there fishing in a deuce of a band. I heard, a, you know, some thunder. And I looked over. I thought, man, you know, that sky is getting mighty dark looking. <laughs> and so, uh, <clears throat> you know, I think I got off the stage. <laughs> I think I got off the stage just in time. And, uh, you know, because a lot of times, you know, they'll make people get out of the water. Wow, that is awesome. Yes, yes, yes. And that was, a, to me, that was a lot of fun, you know. <clears throat> um, but I hardly don't go out to water parks no more. And uh, a few years ago, many years ago, <clears throat> I almost had an accident at a water park. And uh, <clears throat> I had told this, <clears throat> sorry about that. So I had told the story before. <clears throat> um, I... Like I said, I had an accident at a water park. <clears throat> and uh, if you've never been to a water park, <clears throat> you know, they're, they're a lot of fun. And so I went in with my sister-in-law to this water park. And they had a big slide facing towards the interstate. And so I decided I wanted to ride on that ride. <clears throat> The line was this, and the line was just too long, so I could, you know, I couldn't go up the slide. I wanted to, <clears throat> and then I thought, well, <clears throat> let me just walk around the park and see what else I can ride on. <clears throat> so there was a thing called, uh, there was a ride called the Lazy River. And then to ride the Lazy River, you have to have an inner tube. Well, you know, I looked around, so I just started walking around in the park and find me an inner tube. No matter what around it, so I just picked it up, <laughs> took it back, and uh, <clears throat> decided <clears throat> to ride it to ride the, the Lazy River. <clears throat> well, I did not know how to get on to the inner tube, <laughs> and so. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Yep. <laughs> well, you know, this is not really funny, but so what I did <clears throat> is I think I made a mistake. Is I put my hands <clears throat> on the back of the wall of the pool where the Lazy River was, and I went head first. <clears throat> my feet went up in the air, and went, I went head first. <clears throat> my head was about that close hitting the pool floor. But about that close. And I was down more than nine to ten seconds at the most. Nine to ten seconds. <clears throat> I was fighting. I was fighting to come come up. And I could feel a I could feel a current in, in the water. And um <clears throat> but I could I could hear I could hear what was going on, and then um, after that, well, no, I was starting. Excuse me, I was starting to get a little bit a little bit nervous. I thought, what if there's going to be a strong current and push me out further? But one day I asked Google how deep is the lazy rivers at water parks. And I think it said between three, four feet deep, possibly up to five. And there was no lifeguards, no lifeguards around at all. Now, 
<clears throat> my sister-in-law, she, she's a nurse. And uh, <clears throat> so, like I said, I was down. But, you know, the nine to ten seconds. <clears throat> or suddenly, <clears throat> I felt like a hand reached down and pulled me up out of the water. Was done a little bit. Um, you know, <clears throat> the only thing I can describe to you with the hand was it's not a lifeguard, <clears throat> it was not <clears throat> nobody else. I believe there was an angel pulled me up out of the water. So I did not go back into the Lazy River no more. <clears throat> I walked around where the wave pool was, and I got into the wave pool, and I felt I felt better. But to this day, no, I you know I don't go to any more water parks. You know, um, <clears throat> back then my mom needed me, and I needed my mom. <clears throat> You know, I did, uh, <clears throat> earlier today, I did a video. <clears throat> and when I was doing the, uh, the painting, <clears throat> the video I did, <clears throat> sometimes I do the adult coloring as well. But you see, I'm also a deacon in a church. <clears throat> I'm an ordained deacon. And my brother is a pastor. My job is praying. You see, the Father... He'll give you, he'll give you gifts, he'll give you talents. And when my gifts is praying, I pray for people. You know, <clears throat> there's a story about what I saw one night. If you never heard this story before, I'm going to tell it again. My mom <clears throat> was going home to be with the Lord one night. This is back in March, March 5th, 2005. It was a beautiful night. My sister was helping me that night. I said my goodbyes to my mom. Went back and sit down on the couch just for a few minutes. Heard this soft spoken voice deep on the inside. <clears throat> now when Jesus speaks to me on his father, I get very, very quiet. I don't say a word. I just listen. Oh, yes, thank you. Yes, that makes me feel good. And so when, you know, <clears throat> when I step out, he says, son, I want you to step outside and, and just wait. So I waited. Beautiful, clear night. And a cool, <clears throat> it was beautiful. <clears throat> and then I saw it. <clears throat> I saw colors, beautiful, beautiful colors. Green, blue, red, gold, just pure gold. Like the, like the, it was almost like the streets of gold. It was just beautiful. And then I started seeing a city. 
and I saw a city. Look at it. And nothing on my body hurt me that night. Not one thing on my body hurt me that night. Not a thing. I was so amazed. One minute I'm crying, the next minute I was completely dry. <clears throat> Lost all track of time that night. I could not tell you what time it was. Not only did I see a city, but I also saw people. And these people are not, they were not close, but <clears throat> these people <clears throat> were <clears throat> a little bit off in the distance. Looked like some of them looked like they're walking. Um, <clears throat> I cannot tell the <clears throat> expression. I think some of them look like they're smiling. You know, what I saw that night was not a glimpse. It was not my imagination. It's not a dream. What I saw was the very first time. So heaven. I saw heaven that night. Jesus spoke to me again. He said, son, <clears throat> he said, this is what your mother's going to be within hours. Within hours. <clears throat> A few days went by and he spoke to me again. That soft spoken voice. Very soft. He spoke to me again. He said, son, <clears throat> he said, I want you to talk about what you have saw. Tell my people. Tell them this is real. Heaven is real. I've seen it. It was one of the most beautiful things I ever have seen. I looked up that night, <clears throat> and then I saw a red streak going across the sky with a shooting star. I went back inside, told my mom that I saw. She says, oh, you saw a rainbow. I said, no, mom, I didn't. My mom said, I believe I saw heaven. Peace began to overflow me that night. Like, peace just, just started coming down over my head, overflowing me. This, this, this warm peace was all over me. I, I was very calm that night. After I saw that, <clears throat> I thought I saw that right. Oh wow! <clears throat> Is this going to be like it when he comes back? Is this is this the way it's going to be when he comes back? <clears throat> I tried to write a book about this one time, but <clears throat> I couldn't, couldn't get together. Then I start telling people about this in my church. He is coming back. You know, I hear my brother cleans up preaching. I hear him a lot of times saying that is sooner 
than we think. It's closer than it has ever been. I love Jesus and he loves me. <laughs> Excuse me, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you can <clears throat> you can tell how much love I have inside me. <clears throat> you know, sometimes <clears throat> I'll have dreams. Sometimes they're so peaceful dreams. This is peaceful as they can be. But now as I'm telling you this, <clears throat> I feel warmth. I feel warmth. Feel, you know, feel warmth. Sometimes I can. Yes, yes, that. Yes, you're great, but we don't know when. Yes, because no, no one knows the day and hour. Yes. You know, I. Uh, Oh, thank you. Yes. You're fine, Mark. Oh, thank you. I just have a I just have a lot of love. <laughs> I have a lot of love like right in here. That's what it's all about. Sharing you know, sharing what what, what you know, sharing what I feel. <laughs> it's good for me to have a a, a pastor uh my brother's pastor and it's, it's good for me to have a nurse in the family. Since Lord's a nurse. You know? Wow. <laughs> yes he does. Yes and he loves you too. Yes. Yes he does. Yes he he does love me. He lo he loves you too. He, you know, when I went out to the fair, I think uh, last year, <clears throat> but <clears throat> I think it was last year I went out to, to, to the fair, and uh, <clears throat> I always like to play the balloon darts. I always have fun <laughs> playing, you know, playing the balloon darts. And uh, <clears throat> When I was out there and I got through <clears throat> playing the balloon darts at the fair, <clears throat> I told this worker, I said, God loves you. She says, thank you very much. And then um, a few years ago, I think I was out there playing the balloon darts. And I think I told this to another person, work, working the balloon darts game. And I said, God loves you. He says, thank you. Thank you so much. I said, you're welcome. You know, I did, a, I would do a festival. And I did an art festival one time. And it's a big art festival. Big one. A lot of people. Now, look at this. I used to play with a buddy of mine when he comes. And uh, I used to play harmonica or whatever, you know, with him uh, up on the stage. And so we was <clears throat> working the crowd that day, you know, down, down the crowd.
proudly for the you know, Moon Music Big Ten. And uh, <clears throat> so I said, this man, and went walking right up to this man. And I told him, I said, God loves you. You know what this man did? He opened up his arms. He says, come here. He says, I want to hug you. Want to hug me? Because I said, God loves you. He just opens up his arms. He says, come here. He said, I want to hug you. He says, no one has never said this to me before. You know, that's uh, the part I meant a lot to that fellow. You know, that probably meant a lot to him. <clears throat> wow. <laughs> <clears throat> Keep on going, I'll be doing a two hour live stream. <laughs> But you know that would be okay too. I have done, <clears throat> I have done a four-hour live stream. <laughs> uh, doing a four-hour live stream, oh my! <laughs> but I had never done a five-hour live stream before. <laughs> Just long enough if I can get watch hours in. And get my my subscriber number back up. Yeah, that's what the, that's what I need is my subscriber number to go back up. Yeah, I was gonna do a birthday live because my birthday will be in the fall, and I was gonna do a live birthday party. You know, because I thought, wow, you know, if I got to my one k. On my birthday, <laughs> I was going to do a, a birthday live, you know, and, uh, but I'm going to get there, I'm going to get to my 1K, I'm going to get there, I'm going to get to my 1K, yes, it probably did mean a lot, Mark, I love I have to go. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your stories about heaven. Heaven is real. One day we'll both be there. We will see see our loved ones again. Yes, yes. Oh, thank you for coming in. Yes. Whenever I go live, you're, you're welcome to, to come in. You're welcome to, to come in when, when I do a live. Thank you for Thank you for coming in and, and listening to me. I appreciate that. I'm fixing to get off in a way in a few minutes. But yeah, thank, thank you for thank you for coming in and, and, and listening. That means a lot. Class. Okay. I think I had only one. Uh, I think I only had one. I like could think. Pink motivation. I think pink motivation is a mod for me. So, uh, Pink, if you're still listening to me, thank you for coming in and watching the chat for me. Yes, yes, yes. I got to meet Pink Motivation uh, back in. Yeah, there. I got to meet Pink Motivation back in, uh, I think, in May. Yeah, it was May. Yes. <laughs> yes. Let me know if you like to be blue. And I'll turn you blue, okay? Just, just let me know if you like to be blue. And I'll turn you blue. Be a bond for me. Okay. Um... 
I don't know when I'll go live again. Um, this is more Saturday. I don't know what I'm doing Saturday. But, um, <clears throat> but yes. Um, okay. I'm facing thanks to my mod. Yes, years two. Years two. Okay. Well, it's already almost been over, almost been up to two hours live stream. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one. And I'd like to thank my mod, which was Keep Motivation. And uh, I'm looking forward to the next Friday night at 8 p.m. Central Time. If you just like to watch, you can watch. And uh, anyway, we're going. We always have fun doing these things. So anyway, guys. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yeah, pink, pink is. I love pink. Yes, she is awesome. I I love pink. Yeah. Okay. Thanks to Pink Raid. Yes. Pink Raid. Thanks to Pink Motivation or Pink Raid. <laughs> okay, Pink, if you're out there listening, hey, thanks for the Pink Raid. Yes. And uh, if you guys don't have me, just go to my channel. Uh, hit that subscribe button and, and subscribe to my channel and all that. Because I would really appreciate it. Okay. I'm fishing to end the stream. <laughs> okay. It's almost almost two hour live stream, so I'm gonna go ahead and end this one. Hey, thanks guys. Yes, thanks. Bye everybody. Thanks for coming. Bye. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>